welcome back to another Live Your Vision freaking vlog with your boy Drew M. Solomon. Yeah, it's another day here. It's beautiful and I might have almost just fell down. But it's okay, we got a freaking cat over here who's a little concerned for me, which is totally understandable because I'm a freaking wild child who just bought a car, tore it apart, and has got his freaking front end just sitting here just ripping parts off, you know, trying to make a thumbnail, but really, he needs to take his time and do a little better. But uh, yeah, last night, got this freaking thing off, and it's part of the radiator support, um, and it's got uh, the kidneys still in it. So I don't know if it's gonna be beneficial for me to take the kidneys out, or, what? Because I'm going to sell it. And um, hopefully my camera's good like that. But uh, today's video is going to be about basically why I started this swap and everything. The main reason is because it was achievable and because, you know, a lot of write-ups on putting the motor from this car into my car. It's very common to swap the N50 in it. And the first website that comes up says, <coughs> if you're gonna do it for power, <coughs> I suggest you don't. But, I me mean, personally, check out this charger I just got. I'm like, ooh! <coughs> I'm like, I get really distracted, I'm so sorry. But, um, <sighs> so distracting, you know what I was talking about. Main reason why I did this was from a video Shout out, um, Garage Sideways, and I'll even link, uh, if you want to check out that video, I'll remember to, uh, link it down in the description down below, but in reality, um, if you buy the car itself, a lot of times, you, once you pull the motor out, you properly part it out, like if I were to sell each individual part, I could sell, like, things from the door to, like, window regulator, or even just post it up online being like, yo, I got this parts car here. But, you know, as you guys can tell, I'm standing in my mom's space. She literally just went to the grocery store and I turned on record to make a video for you guys. That's what we do here. Um, and I don't really have any, like, uh, some space to really, like, pull in a car for people to come take parts off. So it's, it's not really that type of a situation where we can be doing that type of shit. But, um, I still make do, and it's what you do. I knew it was possible, and, um, I figured it was going to be about as easy as it's been so far. It's going to get more complicated when I buy parts and stuff, because, um, you know, or when I go to put it in, try to get running, that's going to probably be way more difficult, but by then, I'll have more experience more know-how because I've already like bought all the parts that are going to go in for the rebuild and uh, the main goal is to drift and just want to go sideways there's a drift event this Saturday um, it's called I uh, forgot what it's called but I'm going to go ahead and throw up the dates up right here so hopefully we can hit some of those or even hit one of those in the E30. If I can hit one of those by the end of the year, it would be just mind blowing. I really don't think so. <clears throat> Whoa, that's unfortunate that light turned off. But don't ever say never. I, if I say I don't think so, I don't think it's gonna happen. That's why I'm in just planning for it. Like, you know, actually, it seems reasonable that I can maybe hit one of those at the end of the year if I go hard and dedicate. And I know you guys don't believe it, but here and now, commitment, commitment, commitment will be a thing. And, and I think it's going to be one day. It's going to flick the switch and you guys will see it. It's a little over time. Um, I keep rebounding back as far as like daily vlogs, as far as being healthy, as far as, you know, progressing and all that. In case if you guys keep up. Uh, but the main thing I... I learned is to say is to say uh, genuine, to stay real, um, and man, like there's nothing more to it than that. Just uh, you know, listen to your heart, 
with this shit. You know, I'm talking from the heart right now. But I feel like right now you guys might want to see some shit. I'm not trying to make this clip too, too long. But I know you guys might be bored with like the other YouTubers who are just bored and fake. I have high energy because I'm excited to pull out the camera and talk to you guys. That's the way it is. And I want to show you the front end that I got it off. It's very simple. It's just a couple bolts on the fender. One of these was a freaking wood screw. I would have filmed it last night if I could. But my um, battery died. But I was able to get a quick clip because with these Canon camera, or at least the G7Xs, you are able to get a quick little clip while it dies and leave it back on with a little clip. So here's that little clip. Check it out. Guys, I think my wiring harness just fell. I'll prove it to you. I can see it. You guys can't see it, but I can see it. Basically, Colorado out here. Check it out with the mountains and everything. My camera battery is flashing a little bit. All right, now that you guys saw that, um, I'm not really sure uh, how much to post it up for. I'm going to go ahead and see if there's anything on eBay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and post that up right now. I'm gonna just make my little ad. Let's see if anybody can buy some of the stuff I got on. It looks like maybe tomorrow I might end up going over there and keep at it, you know? Cause we can just pull that whole thing straight out the front now that we got that radiator support slash front end off. Um, got some taillights here, I think. Like the corners are busted a little bit. But my dad was saying these were M3 mirrors. So I should have grabbed these. And I mean, I did. It's good to, you know, resell them. I've got all these. So I'm gonna basically make posts for all these, all this stuff. Got these M3 mirrors here. I'm gonna take a look at these tail lights here. I just put all this stuff away yesterday, like I organized it as best I could. But because I organized it, I'll be able to put it back easily. If I didn't get this yellow shirt just dirty just now. Whoa. Oh yeah, see as you can see here, I picked it up. It's busted right here. So I don't know if I can post that up on eBay and the actual lens itself is broken. But maybe I can see about posting it up on Craigslist, seeing if there's any BMW guys. There is a BMW page as well here in Arizona, so I think I might just start there because it's the easiest and I, I would rather like support another BMW guy because, you know, as a BMW guy, I'd rather someone like myself sell me something. So if I made any money, you know, um, uh, that'd be dope from, you know, either of those things and then, or any of those things. So now that you guys kind of know why I did this, um, maybe it kind of could inspire you to do a swap. Now do keep in mind, I was thinking of doing the LS swap. Uh, it's a lot more expensive. Um, I mean, you can pull out LS motors for cheap uh, for the other cars, but I don't really know how that works, which ones you, which LS motors you get, um, and all that. But um, I just know other swaps can be expensive. Like if you're like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna swap a Ferrari motor in my Honda Civic. It's like, first of all, that's an amateur thing to say for somebody, you know, just cause it's like, you don't put V12s in like a front wheel drive four cylinder car, you know, it's just like, <laughs> fuck, I don't even know if Ferrari makes V12s, but you know what I mean? Like car people at meets and stuff say that kind of stuff all the time. And it's like, <sighs> You have to understand, I'm doing this this swap because it's written up. There's engine mounts I can buy, there's wiring harness adapters I'm buying, and it's all there for me. Not saying nothing can be done. Never say never, you guys. But, um, no, it's significantly cheaper. Like, I was looking upwards of thousands of dollars for LS swapping and stuff, and I'm just like, I don't even have a shot. I think I can pull this off with not having like all the tools in the shop. Now, with that being said, I'm getting very done with not having my own space. And I'm about to do something about it. And that's been bugging me. <clears throat> Just like figuring these things out, it's like, it doesn't demotivate me, but it like internally, like I'm just like, 
figuring these things out, but it's like, that doesn't mean that I can't pull out a camera and record. So I do apologize for that. And I, I'm just trying to figure things out for you guys. So you guys aren't like, oh my gosh, he's just, you know, but who cares what you think? You should never prepare. You should just do, then you know, then you're that much ahead. And, and I'm talking about YouTube, you guys, and my consistency problem. And um, it's not gonna hurt, as long as it's, it's um, authentic, you know? I, I did something and I need to update you guys on it. I'm not trying to just make a clickbait video off of somebody else. I'm not trying to rip anybody off here. I'm trying to put in work, but for me personally, I make these grand, this is what Alonzo and I have been dealing with. We make these grand plans and then it gets tough to do them when it comes, not necessarily time, but just in general, like, um, for example, like car stuff, like even just like this week, I was really trying to get the exhaust all the way off so I can have the six coming out, hold it over my head. But um, I didn't even like, I like stopped doing it like, threw everything off. Really, it shouldn't have. It really should not have. Like, sometimes videos, some of my best videos have nothing to do with what I originally thought my video was gonna be about. And I can always rant about this kind of stuff in YouTube, only because I think it's beneficial to you guys and how I say like, oh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the bell. I, I just, I just know it's beneficial. Um, and I rewatched some of that stuff and I'm like, uh, I'm looking a little like fake and I'll just say it, you know, and I'm trying to get you guys attention and stuff, but <laughs> my intentions are good. And if you've been sticking with me and I know you have because I got like a hardcore like cult following, I just don't know who you are right now. And if you want to help me figure that out, just comment down below. That would be really dope. I would really appreciate it. And I know like you guys might not have YouTube accounts, but you guys should make one or something. <laughs> All right, well, I appreciate you guys clicking on this video. And as far as this update goes, and um, if you guys have ever thought about doing a swap, hopefully this video kind of informed you and helped you or just overall entertained you because I always like to binge watch YouTubers and just see what they're up to. So if you want to know what I got going on, I'm freaking doing an engine swap. I'm turboing my E30. We're trying to go sideways here this year, hopefully. And yeah, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate your time. We out here. Hashtag LYV gang your shit. I'll check out your post.